Why does God allow evil and suffering to persist in the world? Hi, I'm Alec McClellan with Josh Medell Ministry. This is a Jigsaw Guide to Life. The problem of suffering is a problem for everyone, and Christians need to be prepared. Could there be a reason God would allow evil acts to take place without stepping in and stamping them out every time? To begin with, God created us with freedom, so he doesn't keep snatching it back every time we do the wrong thing. Otherwise, we're not truly free. Freedom comes with responsibility. Actions have consequences. However, it's worth considering God may step in and save us more than we give him credit for. Think of the great escapes, surprising interventions that rescued you from a dangerous situation. Maybe one day you'll find out there was a heavenly explanation. But there's another reason a good God allows evil, to get our attention. There's something about brokenness and pain that sobers us enough to seek after God. C.S. Lewis said pain is God's megaphone. It's necessary because we regard God as an airman regards his parachute, something there for emergencies, but we hope we'll never have to use it. How many people are free falling through life without giving God a second thought until they realize all their hopes and dreams will come crashing down? It's too easy to fixate on the here and now. God's primary concern is for eternity. And when you grasp his heavenly perspective, it changes everything. That's why the apostle Paul was never overwhelmed by the problem of evil. He experienced it. He had compassion for others enduring it. He fought against it, but ultimately he could see beyond it. Paul had hope in a world without hope because he knew one day his earthly suffering would be outweighed by heavenly glory.